today we will study about numbers in this chapter firstly we will learn about the following terms first term is ekadhik ekadhik means plus 1 in vedic maths we show ekadhik with the help of dot for example write the ekadhik of 5 ekadhik of 5 means plus 1 in 5 so plus 1 is it will be 6 but we will represent it like this this dot shows plus 1 so 1 plus 5 is 6 now write the ekadhik of 7 ekadhik of 7 means 7 plus 1 so it will be 8 now the next term is purvain purvain means previous digit now write the previous digit of 5 in 185 previous digit of 5 in 185 is 8 now write the previous digit of 7 in 97 so it will be 9 now write the previous digit of 4 in 84 so previous digit is 8 now the third term is ekadikin purvain ekadikin purvain means plus 1 in the previous digit question 1 is write the value of number using the formula one more than the previous one now see first part value of number 6 in 263 firstly we will write the number in this column 263 now we need to find out the ekadikin purvain ekadikin purvain means plus 1 in the previous digit now we need to find out the previous digit of 6 in 263 previous digit of 6 is 2 so we will put a dot on 2 this dot means plus 1 1 plus 2 is 3 Six will remain same, and this three will also remain same. So answer is three hundred sixty-three. Now see second part value of number four in five hundred forty. Again, we will write the number first five hundred forty. Now we need to find out the ekadikin purvain. Ekadikin purvain means plus one in the previous digit. Now find out the previous digit of four in five hundred forty. Previous digit of four in five hundred forty is five. So we will put a dot on five. One plus five is six. Four will remain same and zero will also remain same. Now see third part value of number nine in nine hundred eighty one. Again we will write the number nine hundred eighty one in this column. Now find out the ekadikin purvain. Again, ekadikin purvain means plus one in the previous digit. So find out the previous digit of nine in nine hundred eighty one. As you can see, there is no previous digit, so we will put zero as a previous digit. Now put a dot on zero. This dot means plus one. One plus zero is one. Nine will remain same. 8 will remain same and 1 will remain same now see fourth part value of number 0 in 2501 again we will write the number first 2501 now we need to find out the ekadikin purvain ekadikin purvain means plus 1 in the previous digit now find out the previous digit of 0 in 2501 previous digit is 5 so put the dot on 5 Again, two will remain same. One plus five, six. Zero will remain same. One will remain same. Now see fifth part. Value of number three n nine thousand three hundred fifty four. Again, we will write the number first. Now we need to find out the ekadikin purvain. Ekadikin purvain means plus one in the previous digit. So find out the previous digit of three. N nine thousand three hundred fifty four. Previous digit is nine. So put a dot on nine. Now one plus nine is ten. Three 
3 will remain same, 5 will remain same and 4 will remain same. Now see, 6th part, value of number 7 n 1785. Again, we will write the number first, 1785. Now, we need to find out the Ekadike Purvain. Ekadike Purvain means plus 1 in the previous digit. So, we need to find out the previous digit of 7 in 1785. So, previous digit is 1. So, we will put a dot on 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 7 will remain same. 8 will remain same. And 5 will remain same. Now, the last part is value of number 9 in 8940. Again, we will write the number first, 8940. Now, we need to find out the Ekadikin Purvain. Ekadikin Purvain means plus 1 in the previous digit. So, find out the previous digit of 9 in 8940. Previous digit is 8. So, put a dot on 8. Now, this dot means plus 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. This 9 will remain same. This 4 will remain same and 0 will also remain same. So answer is 9940.